So hello everybody, welcome to Maji Moon in Matlot. We're situated at the Old Catholic Church. My name is Michael Marshall, the chef at Maji Moon, and I just say welcome today. So the name Maji Moon is French, is broken pato actually. The name of it is Maji Moon as we're talking about, and the meaning of it is eat well, eat good, eat plenty. And this came about from a great grandmother. She had some bizarre menus that she created. For instance, the main one was like a sausage rice pilau. And she wanted to develop this a little more, but um, with time and earth is always sticking. So her time passed and she passes on to me to continue the journey. So at Maji Moon, the menu for now is we, we, we actually rolling on roast stuff. You could also get doubles by us. They could get sandwiches during the day from all around 11 to 4. And you could create your own menu. You let us know what you're looking for, and we actually make that for you. Right here. Some pudina, big leaf time. One leaf of piva grass or lemongrass and some shadow benny, favorite in matlock. This is my main ingredients for almost anything, once it's not porridge. This here is for the fish and for the bhaji that you'll be trying along today. Some in this will go in the salt fish bake with no salt fish, put some chop on it. process is really traditional. By Majimun, we try to remain with this because I believe doing it like this is the highest flavor you'll get in your fish actually. This is carried. So we put in some salt first, and you don't want to kind of put too much of salt on the rib part. You want to be really mindful about the rib. And from here, we add some mustard to it. I love mustard on fish because it cover up any freshness, and it also tastes great. Um, the rib part is my favorite part in the fish. Sprinkle them on about. Don't forget your rib part. Right, so we cover this and leave them to well, I can't really say set, but marinate. The pot is really hot, so you might want to lower your fire a little bit. Sweep in some garlic. I'll throw in some pimento. I thought you wouldn't be able to see a thing inside there. I just had to move with intuition and know that it's not burning. The stem part first. Give them a little stir. Warm water here. We're leaving this guy for like about, let's say, four minutes and then check him back. So most of the produce that we have like on the provision line is from Matlot. Besides sweet potato and carrots, of course. And for our fish, we have it fresh. Just behind me here is the bay facility at Matlot. And this is where we get all our fish at the moment. But as time change and, and season change, Probably we will have to get the fish from Balandra or Sally Bay. They could cover the pot, they could cut one in half, and it will cover the entire pot. Thanks to the rain, we somewhat semi-washed. Voila. We have a double cover. The jashin leaf. And my little mix up. Raise back up the temperature. <laughs> we organizing some roast fish here. Sutify Barrington is a whole clip from Dong Miaro. The whole Miaro team, the roast fish team from Miaro, all that big up. Not too much, and we put it straight on the grill. Normally we have a little wine to add here, but we're not doing the wine today. The wine will give you a slight flamby experience. Oh, I was supposed to tell you about the temperature. You don't want to have the fire too high to oversee the fish. That it looked like it was a blackened fish. You don't want it blackened. So, you have it low and nice, make sure Take your time with the fish. We prepare any fire to light it. So this is the coconut shell. 
rip some of the fiber off for a quick lighting with no gas or pitch oil or any flammable stuff with chemicals in it. This is your fish. It's so soft and tender, we had to cut it in half so it wouldn't break and fall on the ground and we lost that piece. So this is you here. Flesh light down first. And you could hear it saying, ow! Now we have your cover here. This material, we call it King's Mud in Matlot. This is found under the riverbed. Um, so to extract this, you're in the water for probably like about two hours to get one of those construction buckets because they come out like finger piece and to take out the stone and stuff. But we call it um, King's Mud. Um, it was made with this one. Well, all of them here at the moment is King's Mud. When I was really small, um, there was a pond I used to go by and just chill out and swim and imagine I have a friend and I end up coming across this mud under the riverbed and when I brought it up to the um, surface it was like something beaming out of my hand in the sun's light and I was like wow and I just rub it on my hand it was really nice we also use this mud for juve time um, just give it a slight boil and your whole skin is blue. When you, it dry too, it look really nice and artistic. So this is where we get the mud so far. So you ready for the fire? We just give it a small tap around the edges. Not too much to flatten the little rising agent on the inside at work. Certain time in the cooking process, you might need to adjust the temperature because you don't want it, for me, too, too, too golden. I'm on nice little shake. Shake out as much oil as possible. Matter bake. So for now, we just based with WhatsApp. We have a, a um, Facebook profile, but we're still moving towards social media. But for now, you can contact us at uh, 467-1105. You need to call us because there's a 100% chance if you just show up, you would not get you. So you need to call us. Serious. <laughs> hey, one for you, Tevin.